October 13th, 2016, Haddison Township Board, Zoning Board of Appeals meeting. Uh, I'd like to start off with a Pledge of Allegiance, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. Now we have a uh, roll call of board members, please. Chair Hatfield? Here. Vice Chair Smith? Here. Trevor Hayward? Here. Here. Eric Here. Robert Here. Here. Okay, all present accounted for. Uh, I'd like to make a note that since I was absent last month uh, for the original hearing of this uh, meeting, I would like to uh, uh, defer my vote in anything that happens tonight to uh, to our alternate, Mr. DeWitt, and uh, keep things uh, consistent with the people that heard the case last month. Uh, I'll chair, but uh, I will not uh, vote on anything. All right. Okay. Next item is approval of the agenda. Um, would accept a motion to either amend or approve. I make the motion to accept the agenda. Mr. Senft, uh, motion to accept. Uh, do I have a second? Yeah, second that. Second, Mr. Spina. Okay, any discussion? All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, motion carried. The agenda is approved. Other business, uh, approval of the uh, September 8, 2016 minutes. Uh, any uh, corrections or additions to the minutes from last month? Uh, one small uh, spelling change Gina? on the minutes. Um, the system that the applicant's been talking about here, in the minutes it's, it's called a Vantech. Mm -hmm. It's actually an Advantech system. Okay. A AD. V A N T E K, I believe. All right, second line of. Uh, a D V A N T E K. Yeah. Uh, I think. Not a Vantec, it's an Advantec. Okay. <laughs> Pretty yeah, minor, and the, but. There and the T is also capitalized on that. <laughs> okay. Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Um, okay. Yeah, that's page three, yeah. second paragraph. Cool. Other than that, all right. There. Any other corrections? Uh, your motion to uh, accept is amended. Um, I'll make that motion, accept the Mr. Spino? As, as amended. Thank you. I'll support it. No second, Mr. Hayward. <coughs> okay. Any discussion? Hearing none, I'd like a roll call vote, please. Sorry. Uh, Sir Hatfield. Abstain. Oh. Vice Chair Approved. Tony Spina? Yes. Trevor Yes. Robert DeWitt? Yes. Eric Sutton? Yes. Okay. Thank you. The motion is carried. The uh, minutes of uh, September 8th are approved. Thank you. Other business is uh, um, okay. Uh, the next, next thing on the agenda, excuse me, case 16-03, uh, Jean Bailet. Is that correct pronunciation? Yes. Okay, thank you. Um, we had the uh, public hearing last month. Um, is there anything you wish to add to what you've uh, you told the board last month? Okay. No. Other than I just needed to prove so I can get moving on it before it gets too much rain. So. Right. I, I did have a question myself, um, not having been here. Um, I'm a little confused. I see the uh, notice from the county on the violation and the and for the uh, denying uh, repairing the septic system like it was is addressed to an Eberly Ellis. Well, that's my daughter. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so, but you are the property owner. Yes. Yourself, okay. All right. <clears throat> Board, any questions, comments? Um, 
Well, <coughs> we heard everything last week, uh, you know, as to the location and all that. Uh, you know, the ordinance we're talking about uh, has two requirements. One is the 100 foot variance that we may or may not, uh, you know, approve here tonight. And the other is the flow, you know, the flow direction of any watershed mm. off that field, not going towards the lake. Now, the way it's specified, uh, that the system that's going to be put in, uh, you know, it, it says that it will be designed for us to draw away from the lake and its watersheds and its, and its uh, yeah, and, and away from any wells. Okay, so that, that sounds good. And the print we have is the document that states that. Right, the, uh, yeah. So the only thing that I would say is, again, we should make sure that elevation is on that point where the field is located so we can find that it is indeed not going Because that is one of the requirements of the ordinance. Correct. Well, so, well let, uh, let's explore that a little bit. The requirement for the ordinance is the 100 foot. And what, is, what does it and say? The second is uh, that there is no water flow. Let me get that. I have yeah, it the output there. of the system. Yeah. For the output. Output of the yep. system flows okay. away from the lake. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the way it's stated. Oh. Okay. So there's two requirements. One is the distance, and one is the flow direction. Okay, that's that's how it states. Yeah, the, the statement of the, uh, the ordinance itself was uh, a... Uh, Septic system shall be located a minimum of 100 feet from the lake and shall be designed so as to drain away from the lake and its watershed and its tributaries and any wells. Right. And in this case, we are actually talking about a tributary, right. not the lake itself, but it's, it's included. Yep. So, where is the physical flow? Uh, I mean, I, I don't see any flow. It's all it's, it's dissipating, evaporating, and uh, not, we're, not, we're not talking about sheet runoff, right? On top of the grass, on top of the stream. Right. Under. Okay. Well, you're talking about the slope of the uh, where the field is located. That's so what I'm trying to. Yeah, yeah, we're trying to figure out what the. Uh, I didn't bring the drawing with. So me. what the okay. just in a, in a layman's term, the top of the field finish is showing at 958.2 feet above sea level. Right. The lake um, is at 952. Let's just say for 952. Right. So it's approximately six feet of height elevation, and the top of the finish field, the ground, the grade, mm -hmm. to the lake water surface. Right. Now in saying that, exploring this a little further here, the pipes are actually um, really what, you know, where the dirty water is, right? Mm -hmm. Down in the ground. Mm -hmm. So those pipes are, um, I don't know if we have an elevation on those pipes and how far down. Well, is, isn't the or the ordinance says the surface yeah, of the uh, the surface? <laughs> and, uh, correct. And I don't think it's quite that no, specific. No, not surface. I don't Filling. think so. No. Where did it go? Well, that's why I'm bringing it up, making sure we're yeah. clear on this. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> so shall be designed so as to drain away from the lake and right. its watershed. It doesn't say it's a system. Of a system. Septic system. And if you skip the 100 feet, it shall be designed so as to drain away from the lake. Correct. Which I'm not sure, depending on how you think about it, I'm not sure that's possible so. unless you go in the water <laughs> table. My understanding is that they, they put soil that's impermeable between the system and the lake. Yeah. And, that, and since it can't go that way, it's got to go the other way. Right. That's basically how I mean, I, I think, uh, maybe I'm wrong. wrong, is the ordinance talking about a discharge system? No, I think the ordinance is talking, I personally, I, I think it's the surface 
the finished surface of the septic field. Mm -hmm. So if anything would leach out, it would run off. The other way. After the other way. <clears throat> I think that's the, that's the purpose of the uh, of the ordinance. Yeah. But isn't this bad? No, here we have a clay clay berm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. We have clay berms around us well, here. Right. Again, on that's the why I'm mentioning it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, okay. what is the height of the clay? That that should be probably the. There's no cross section on here. Is yeah, there? the second second, second page, page got a cross section. Okay. Second page top. That's the go. tank itself. Uh, and that's the field. Here's the cross section. Oh yeah, Sorry. here we go. Yeah. Okay, so. Yeah, oh, there's your elevation right there. Right. Okay. So the berm, right, is so. going around above the field itself and not below the surface of the fill over the field. Mm -hmm. um, and the way the berm was shown on this uh, plat view, it's going around the three sides to prevent flow toward the lake. But not prevent it back this way. I think that does that satisfy what you're thinking? So the lowest on that is <coughs> five fifty five then, right? The lowest. Right. Okay. So how does that relate to the lake? Five fifty two. The lake right. itself is nine fifty two. Okay. Well you got three feet then. Okay. But it has to get through the clay berm. Right. Mm -hmm. right. And it has to also, the alarm not sound off mm -hmm. and just carry on for X amount of days. I'm not sure that this, that ordinance, yeah. the verbiage is specifically saying what, what yeah. you're thinking it, you know. Um, mm -hmm. This was designed by engineers that do this to make it safe and healthy. And then it was semi-approved or not approved by the county? Well, he implied that he would approve it once you approved it. For okay. Pending our but ordinance. He, could, he couldn't approve it until you approved it. The only, the only approval, the only uh, documents you have from the county so far are the, the, uh, the violation and then the denial of just that. putting he it up straight. He's right. seen the plans already. He's, he's implied that he will approve mm -hmm. if you approve. Yeah. It, it would probably be appropriate that if uh, it, the uh, variance is approved tonight, that it be contingent on approval by the county. Um, just to make sure, since we don't have a document that says they're just waiting for our our portion. Yeah, he he is saying that he will not issue a permit until we say it's okay. Right. Right. Exactly. Right. right. <clears throat> and by by us saying it's okay. The reason I bring this up, there's a two-fold requirement. Right. One is the variance, okay, that we that we may or may not distance, get right. relief on. Mm -hmm. But the other important thing is flow. To make sure that that right. flow is. Yeah, and and both, you know, it, both are in the ordinance. I don't think it would be required for us to do anything as far as the the slope goes. We would be, in this case, we would be issuing a variance for. Um, What's been requested, the 47-foot variance for the distance from the lake, we will not be addressing and the other part of the ordinance. Mm -hmm. uh, we would not? Right, no, we the, the, uh, the surface flow? No, we, we've not been requested to give a variance to but the flow. But that's part of the ordinance. It is, but we've not been there's no and ask to give a variance to that. There's no variance person. needed. I realize that. They're meeting yeah, that requirement. I mean, you, you bring up a good point, valid, but it, it, it just seems okay. that they're, they're referring to something now because all fields might be below the lake. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And who, I mean, who lives below the lake? Whose backyard is below the, all the, all the yardage, 90% uh, in Lakeville around the lake is going to be in the water up and sloping up and, you know. Right. right. Well, l let me say it this way. <clears throat> if you created something behind your house, between the house and the lake, okay, and it, and it creates a lot of flow of water from that, rainwater, watershed, right. okay, goes into the lake or whatever, that, I think that's what this is talking about, right? But right? Well, we would not be granting any variance in that matter. Okay. That would All be right. up to the county and or our 
um, building inspector. Now, you having said that, okay, mm -hmm. that would be my conclusion that if we approve this variance of distance, mm -hmm. that the the final inspection or the some kind of inspection yep. by our building official says that when this field is done, it it meets it, the code. Let me say it differently. Strike strike the building official. The ordinance officer would right. make sure that the ordinance was followed in the construction of the septic field. Correct. Which includes the flow. And and we, we addressed that uh, sometime back, a couple of cases ago. And I, I believe our um, ordinance uh, officials understand that that's something that's required. Right. And I would also <laughs> maybe even uh, go as far as to when you sent out the approval notice, that maybe the ordinance officer also gets a copy of that and closes the loop. Okay. So if we approve it, mm -hmm. and the ordinance officer says, yes, it complied with the ordinance, that completes the process. That would be appro appropriate, yes. And I think that would satisfy me to say that the ordinance was followed through and, you know, and certified, and it's a done deal. Okay. That's that's my thinking here, mm -hmm. and and that's appropriate. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I I, I think this is somewhat um, the, <coughs> the distance variance is directly related to us and our decision what we right. want to do. The flow uh, is designed by engineers um, with retention of clay and so forth, and then inspected by. The county health department as well. Right. In addition, you're saying you would also like to include the ordinance um, enforcement, enforcement officer to, to take a look at it as well. It That's complies right. with the complete ordinance, which is twofold. And okay, and uh, we will make that uh, request. Uh, I think by consensus here that uh, that the. Uh, Ordinance officer be included on the uh, approval of this or denial, whatever the Correct. decision tonight to make sure that the full ordinance is uh, followed. Right. So is the is everybody... ordinance officer different than the building department? Not really. <laughs> In this <laughs> case, no. He looked at the plans and, and yep. he liked them. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, this is a good system. He I approved don't them before I could turn them in. Sure. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With Just, yeah. Just trying to close the loop. <laughs> it's it's going to be fun. I'm doing it the way it's supposed to be. <coughs> <coughs> See my estimate, you know. And, and we understand that and appreciate it. We're also trying to mm -hmm. sculpture some discrepancies <coughs> or differences or questions um, of this whole matter of the engineering systems in the lakes and try to fine tune and be more user friendly to everybody. Yeah. Um, it, it's somewhat of a learning process for us as well. We're not picking on you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but the next one that comes in, his is a lot better than mine, cheaper. Yeah. When he gets around to coming in. Mm -hmm. So that, that's a good point. Uh, with the flow, I think we should. It, it, I, this is not, it's, it's kind of not really something for us to worry about. This is something the health department and the engineers should be worrying about. Right. And trust that they know what they're doing, obviously. Right. And go with that. So the decision. I think it's more of a, for a topical mm -hmm. system or a leach system or a, right. uh, a, a holding tank that does not have sealed washer, rubber washer, a sealed uh, mm -hmm. um, access doors yeah. and so forth on it. Mm -hmm. like, you know, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. But you do know that this system also has to be uh, watched. Right. Yes. It's monitored. Every right. year. Yeah. There, there's yeah, a, a very there's good maintenance system. program for it. Yeah. Pardon? Okay. A maintenance program for right. the system, yes. Yeah, that's part of the mm. part of the deal. Right. Um, okay, I guess that that's the only thing I wanted to bring up. Okay. Bless you. Thank you. Things so, so on your own time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, do we know? It, w I'm sorry, Mr. Chairman. No, go, go for it. Um, the alarm system on this. Uh, does anybody have, or do you, do you know what type of alarm system it may have? Um, it's a, I believe it's a backup alarm. Uh, we've done this 
we've had some cases before with this system. Some are tied to the phone lines, I believe. Yeah, that I don't know. High level alarm, I don't know what that means. But well, that's saying when it gets too high, the alarm yeah. goes off. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. it means a remote alarm. Well, they said when it when it fails, let's say, um, you'll know it right away. <laughs> is what is what I remember hearing. Because the drain won't work. Yeah, I, I it, believe it, something about the one of the pumps quit. And it you works quit or it the doesn't. Facilities. That's right. Yeah, right. it doesn't keep working, not fully functioning. No, it, it just shuts yeah. off, and then you have to call somebody out to, to take a look at it. Mm -hmm. yeah. The one that, yeah, the guy that maintains it. Yeah. Right. Whichever right. company, I, there's two companies I have, I don't know which one. The, the two major ones are Advantech and Norwenko. Pardon? Yeah. No, Advantech is the one you, you've got here, and oh, the no, other I'm the other major one is Norwenko. I, I'm at the contractors. Oh, okay. I see. But Either it whether it be Rollins or whether yeah. it be um, Herman. Mm -hmm. yeah. I didn't know which one yet. Yeah, the failure mode is that it doesn't pass. Oh, effluent. You got a plug toilet. Yeah, you can find out pretty quick. Yeah, yeah. Right. it's not working. Yeah. I think both of them are pretty well protected to make sure that you're not uh, dumping anything raw past the uh, the, the uh, filter tank. More questions or comments from the board? No, I'd like to make a motion, Mr. Chairman, if, if there's no other comments or. Mm -hmm. um, we'd like to make a motion uh, to approve the 47 foot variance regarding case number 1603. Um, with all the information, documents, designs, data that we have, um, looks like it's a good system and you've, you're putting your due diligence and money into it to make sure it's going to be healthy for the community. I would also like to include on the uh, variance grant, um, as Mr. Sent said, to have an infor um, our ordinance and Enforcer officer to inspect it after the county and or with the county inspection um, at some point during um, finishing of project. Okay, no complaint about that. <clears throat> um, and, and, and again, this is uh, relative to the designs we have in here at hand. Dated. On the record already. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> as a matter of record. Mm -hmm. I'll support that motion. Okay, motion to support uh, to approve. Uh, what the conditions stated? Did uh, Did you get all the conditions in the in the minutes there? Not uh, the recording. <laughs> all right. Uh, discussion from the board. Hearing none, like a roll call vote, uh, excluding myself. Vice Chair Smith? Approval, yes. Tony Spina? Yes. Robert Hayward? Yes. Robert Wood? Yes. Yes. Okay, motion is approved. Thank you, Thank you for being so patient. Well, thank you. Okay. Now, when would I get to the paper so I can show the county and um, get this done? Is uh, uh, our clerk going to be in tomorrow morning? She will be. I will uh, state the number and we'll give you a call. Okay. We can, we can get the approval and uh, some, something Deke can send to uh, Mike, Mike and. Uh, okay, we'll do it. In Thank the you morning. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'll come down and sign that, no problem. Okay. Good night. Good night. Okay, hey, next item on the agenda is correspondence received. I know of none. Um, outside of our materials for this case. 
Uh, zoning board reports. Um, anybody have anything to discuss about uh, our uh, organization here? Okay, hearing none. Report of Planning Commission liaison, Mr. Smith. Planning Commission has been quite dormant lately, so not much to report. Okay. Thank you. Public forum. Anybody in the public would like to speak? I'll open the public forum now at uh, 625. Okay. Seeing no, uh, no uh, clamor to, to talk to us tonight, I'll uh, close the public hearing at 626. Uh, they have some difference in time there. Um, Entertain a motion for adjournment. I so move. A uh, second. Move and second to adjourn. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? We are adjourned. Thank you. <laughs>